Hi, I'm Florence Pugh, and these are my top movie moments. The first movie I ever cried at, and I always love remembering this because I remember in that moment I thought, oh my God, it's happening. I'm crying from emotions, was Charlotte's Web. I remember watching that when I was younger, I got the DVD, like the, 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 the discount version, you know, when all the DVDs used to be on the rack after Christmas. And I remember my, my dad would go and let us choose at least, you know, a few of them. And I chose Charlotte's Web. And when she died at the end, I remember weeping and realizing in that moment that a movie made me cry and being very proud and grown up. I mean, it's not the answer that you want, but the movie The Island made me obsessed with Ewan McGregor. <laughs> As I was already with Moulin Rouge, but it was just like double whammy. Bend it like Beckham. I love the bit uh, at the end when her dad comes to watch her and uh, she plays and she's free and she's just running down the pitch. and. Um, I actually remember always rewinding that bit when she had, you know, had some, so much beef with her family and she finally just m ran away and decided to do it. And I thought that, that was um, so inspiring, just this uh, young woman who had been told not to do it. And, um, and she finally just did something that made her happy and it truly made her so happy and everybody around watching her. That was a, a moment I remember as a, as a young, young child. One of the movies that I have always appreciated, even as a child and an adult, is The Grinch. Because if you watch it now, the attention to detail in the costume and the sets and the studio and the makeup and the hair and the accessories is unbelievable. The Grinch is insane. I think that's one that I would love to be a part of. Um, the Ring. Not doing that. Nope, 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 nope. I watched that at the age of like seven. No, what? I know. That's wrong. Like, Who let you do that? I know. <laughs> I was unaccompanied and I just. No, I, I watched it and I was technically legally allowed to watch it and I still hate it. But then my girlfriends would do a really nasty trick and we'd leave the taps on slightly. Oh yeah. my God, you just you just reminded me of that scene. Okay. Don't. That what up. about when she comes out of the screen? What about if I just started going like that? I mean, it really shouldn't have, but Cal and the girls really wanted to make me want to be a baker. <laughs> but clearly for the wrong reasons, because it's not about that at all. I just clearly was hungry when I watched it. I was like, oh, cake. I thought you were going to go a different way then. No. Oh. <laughs> what, posing on calendars? Yeah, that too. <laughs> Bridget Jones, when she, uh, when I was younger, I remember what, coming in to watch, my mum was watching it as well. And when she fell off the bike, I, I could not stop dying with laughter and I don't know why. And then it's followed up with her eating the, the really off cheese and then the blue soup. That used to be like my comfort film when I was younger. The Matrix. I don't need to say much more after that. I'll just say The Matrix. So true. Everybody knows. <laughs> There wasn't one particular movie that made me want to be an actor, but the ones that did were all very... It was more that I wanted to witness what it was like to be there on that day during that shoot. Um, and they were usually like core cast films, like whether it be Grease or West Side Story or Moulin Rouge, or like I just loved the idea of everybody working on these epics for days. Like I'd almost get jealous that I wasn't a part of them. And it wasn't necessarily that I, they were fil films that made me want to be an actor, but just films that made me as whatever age I was, a child or a young teen go, oh, I would have loved to have been there that day. Comfort, I'd say, probably goes to Father Ted or Vicar Dibley. I know that's not a movie, but that truly was my childhood in a nutshell. Mum on the sofa, getting all of our like school uniform tags, everything, sewing them in, and we'd all be sat on the sofa watching Vicar Dibley or Father Ted. <laughs> Nostalgia, huh? 
Hmm. Oh, flyaway home. Is that right? Fly or come? Flyaway home. I think it's flyaway home. Come away home. Flyaway home. The ones with the geese. Okay, not that one then, because maybe if I've got the name wrong, babe. <laughs> That's nostalgia. You love your pig ones about the little baby <laughs> and <animated Yes. things. laughs> All right. I've just, I, you know what I've done? And I've sat down and I've basically listed all of my favorite movies as a child that I grew up on. Oh, have you ever seen Klaus? It's an animated movie and it is probably one of the most beautiful animated movies. It's a Christmas movie. And you'll watch the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you'll be a bit like, hmm, what is it? What's it about? Where's it gonna go? And then you end up falling in love with the storyline and these characters, and it's absolutely amazing. And that makes me feel so warm and happy and comfy. It's a beautiful movie. I don't know, I kind of identify with loads of boy characters though. Um, yeah, like, you know, in Peter Pan, I thought mm -hmm. Peter Pan was so cool. Like I wanted to be Peter Pan or any of the brothers or any of the like Tiger Lily. I loved them. I loved being one of the boys, the lost boys. That yeah. was a dream. That was yeah, a dream. it was the dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matilda, the whole pancake scene. And then slightly more grown up, the scene where Kristen Wiig in Bridesmaids cooks herself her own single cupcake, which I thought was probably the most talented thing I'd ever seen, making one single cupcake. The measurements, you'd have to be so on it. I thought that was genius. A Star Is Born, yeah, I was completely in love with that. Also, Atonement, I was completely in love with Atonement and completely in love with them being in love. But yeah, I think those ones are probably top of the list. <laughs>